thanks for calling support. This is Kevin. How may I help you? Hi, yeah. Um, I don't know what I've done on my computer. I've got um a Windows alert from the Windows operating system, and it's detected a uh, malware on the computer, and it's telling me to phone the Microsoft okay. number. So I was just wondering if there's any way you'd be able to help me sort this out because I don't know what I've done, and I, I okay, don't. Okay, no need to worry. I'm not too sure to be honest. Like it's kind of scary. What's may happened? May I know? May I know since how long you're facing this issue? Um, last like twenty minutes, I reckon. Okay. And what you were doing exactly at the time this appeared on your screen? Well, I was, you know, like, oh, it's a bit embarrassing, but I was, I was watching a bit of porn. Okay. May I know the make and model number of your computer? Uh, I don't know. Make and model. Uh, I, I can tell you the make is is a Dell, but I have no idea what it's the model okay, number would be. No need to worry. It's a desktop or it's a laptop? Uh, it's a desktop. Okay. Well, that's the one that's Sir, like uh, please a, a have big a look box, at the... isn't it? Okay. Please have a look at the left-hand bottom corner, okay? There would be a Windows key. Oh, on my keyboard? On the keyboard. Oh, right, yep. On keyboard, yes. What you need to do is, sir, press that Windows key and hold it down, okay? Uh, okay. And press the letter R. Um, I both brought up a ROM box. Yes, there a small box would appear on your screen. Uh, okay. yeah, it's got type the name of a program, document, or internet yes, resource. Yes. Now type there. Yes, now type there. I explore. I, I as in Indiana. A X explore. So I E X P L O R L Oh, yes. Let me uh, uh, explain oh, okay. it yep. out for you. I, I, E, X, P, L, O, R, E. I yep. explore. Okay. I explore. Now give a, you now give a single space and type www three w's. Yep. Dot. Put a single dot. Yep. Now type help me H E L P M E and yes and it's yep. a single word okay help so me. www now put dot a single help dot me. dot yes after help me give a single dot and type net N E T N E T N C echo tango okay yes now I am repeating it once again please uh, make a double check that is I explore then a single space, then yep. www, three w's, then dot help me dot net. Is that correct? Yes. Is there anything else now I need to Now please click on OK. All right, OK. No, um, no, no, no. Now click on OK. Uh, it's brought up Internet Explorer. You'll be there. Establish support connection. Uh, type the name and the support yes. key received. OK, so I'll type my name out. Yes, sir. You need to type your name. Yes, please type your name. Uh, what what do I put in the support key? I, I don't know what I, what, what the support key. Okay, I'll put support key. Okay, just give me a quick moment. Okay. Your support key is seven eight four. Seven eight one 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 three times one 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 yep okay now please click on continue okay so seven eight four two nine four one 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 yes seven eight four two nine four one 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 yes sir okay continue no please click on continue yep uh go to opener it's downloaded the program it says connecting yes. to go to assist yeah, click and... on go to yes click on do you see any option like run run go to assist opener uh it says connecting to go to assist starting go oh right yeah now it's come up with the uh the yes and no option i guess i had to click yes right 
Yes, click on yes, yep. yes, sir. Definitely, you need to select only the positive options. Okay, yep. Um, it brought up another little box that had a little loading icon, but it's disappeared. Oh, it's oh, okay. It says oh, connecting. Yes. Okay. Now please click on yes or join. Yep. Okay, now you now your computer got connected to the secure server, okay? Okay. Just give me a quick moment. So this is what you're facing, Windows operating system alert, right? Yeah. I I'm not sure what it means. Okay. Let me go ahead and check this out, okay? Uh yeah, sure. So did you download any kind of files or video recently? Uh, I downloaded a video. You downloaded a video. What kind of video was that, sir? Um, where you downloaded that? It was porn. It was porn video, okay. Yeah. Just I guess that comment. might be why I got a virus. Oh, I shouldn't have downloaded it. And did you receive any kind of uh, suspicious email or something? Uh, not that I'm aware of. I haven't checked my emails in a couple of days though, so I'm not sure. Okay. Let me check this out, okay? What's that you've opened? Sorry? What's that program you've opened? Tree, tree antivirus. So I'm going to diagnose your computer. Okay. Free antivirus. You're using a... Tree, tree antivirus, diagnostics tool, scanning your PC, no virus is found, and then you've typed security breach detected. So, is there a security breach in the computer? Just give me a quick moment. Because it said there weren't any viruses, but Actually, it, was, it's it also not... said there was a security breach, though. It's... So. Yeah, this may be due to some kind of network security breach, sir. Because yeah. you know, internet is an open platform, okay? And whenever you are on, whenever you are online and clicking on such kind of links, maybe the porn links, and you know, sir, these porn websites are very notorious for sending these kind of infections and viruses yeah. to your computer, okay? I guess that's that's probably where I got it all from then. But oh, I can't believe I'm such an idiot, man. So is this the only computer which you have or you got some more device, sir? Uh, this is the only computer I have. Okay. And so for what kind of purpose do you use this computer? Um, like email, personal, online basic, shopping, it's net banking? personal use, like, every, like Amazon, eBay, checking Facebook, okay. Gmail. Okay. You know, the usual. And do you do any kind of online shopping or something? Yes, Amazon and eBay. Okay. Looks like you're failing to get out of your own pop-up. Let me just close it for you. Go. Cool. And is this the first time, sir, you got this message, or you received earlier as well? Uh, this would be the first time I, I got this message. I've never seen anything like this okay. before. But like, I've heard about the like Microsoft does it. warn you it when you get like a virus, but I've never seen it in person myself until today. So whenever there is something goes wrong with your computer, okay, or with your network, um, warning messages are sent to you. All right, okay. Yes, this is why you are getting this message. Just give me a quick moment. So, like, how long have you been working with Microsoft for then? Sir, uh, how long ah. this, sir? Tree antivirus. What's, what's tree? 
do you have any virus, any free antivirus on this computer? No. Are but you using any free what antivirus? I do have is a file in System32 called tree.bat. Do you know what that I'm means? I'm trying to get rid out of do you, this. So. I know you can't get out of your own pop up. It's kind of it's kind of hilarious to be honest. Like you're, you're failing to get out of your own pop up. That's a bit funny to be honest, man. Like how how no are you failing worry, to sir, get out of your own pop up? Just give me a quick moment, okay? Look, it only takes me two seconds, and I'm out your pop up. And you're the you work for the company that made that pop up, and you fail to get out of your own pop up. But it took me two seconds, and I managed to close it down. This is online support, sir. And I, know, I think and you, you have you downloaded have... something uh, from. I know. What? Well, wait. Yeah, I know. I downloaded uh, the video that I told you about. Um, and maybe, sir, from there, are these kind of viruses came to your network. All oh, right. Okay. How do you reckon yeah, that happened? Just give me a quick moment, sir. Sir, first I need to diagnose this, okay? All right. Then only I can see anything. First I need to diagnose this. But you just, just give me a quick moment. It... Actually, your computer is responding very slowly due to the high level of infections. I thought you needed to diagnose it before you could like respond with anything, but you just said there were high level inf of infections. System information. What's this? Never seen this before. Oh, I'm just checking that you you got a beautiful computer, sir. You got i7 processor. This is one of the fastest processor. I know. I have a good computer. But yeah, but it's responding very yes, but it's responding very slowly. Oh. Due to the infections, sir. What infections? So, are you the only primary user of this user of this computer, sir, or anybody else use this apart from you? I'm the only one that uses this computer. But you said it was due to the infection, okay. but what infections were you on about? Because you failed to... Sh the infections which are coming from internet to your network. But where whatever are these infections? the devices which you, which you have connected... Sorry? But where are these infections? Because you said a second ago you wouldn't be able to diagnose the computer. Well, you wouldn't be able to know anything for sure unless you diagnosed it. But you haven't... Diagnose the computer and you're claiming there's a high level level with infections So I'm just a little bit confused on that one there Actually uh, the, this computer is responding very slowly. That's why it's taking this much time What so do you reckon that's because of the malware or viruses? Yeah, definitely sir oh, Okay, yeah, do uh, and I can see sir. You don't have any kind of security on your device uh no. No, I don't have any um security it's on not my device. Safe to... I don't have any. It's sir, it's not safe to uh use any computer or any laptop without any security, sir, because you know whenever you connect your device to internet, these kind of infection comes to your device, okay? okay. And eventually they destroy your devices. Can it? Oh shit then. That's not good. And sir, how old is this computer? Is uh, I got it about a couple months ago. It's not that old. Couple. Okay, it's not an old one. Okay. No. But then also you can see, sir, it's a new device, but it's responding very slowly. I know. I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah, this is due to the infections, sir, which are coming from internet. All right. To your device. I'd just like to point out this is the third time you've tried to run the tree command. And you're not... No, we're going to go back to the tree command real quick. Because when you run tree, it comes up with... This is the command you were looking to run. That's that's what you wanted, weren't it? Sorry? That's that's what you wanted to run, weren't it? The little uh, antivirus scan tree. That's what you wanted to run. But you yeah, see, I just want to scan this computer, but you're oh, no, 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 the basic commands. But no, it is taking the basic commands. Can't you read? Tree antivirus. Diagnostic tool scanning your PC. No viruses found. But you obviously haven't got any brain cells because when I told you I'd replaced the file tree.bat in my system32 folder, you, you don't know what that means, do you? 
Like, do you know what that means when I say I replaced the tree dot bat with him system thirty two? It means okay, I've recoded it, the uh, little CMD command. So when you run the tree command, it okay. runs my tree dot bat file instead of actually running the tree command. Oh, so you so, replaced it back. Yeah, yeah, because so you, you see, this is the real tree command. And as you can see, this is a virtual box. And as you can also see, this okay. isn't a diagnosis tool. This just prints mm -hmm. out the directory. So you've got virtual box and you've got contacts. And then in, on the desktop, we have these files on desktop here. So we've got bank details. Now let's verify these files are actually on the desktop. So as you can see, it's printed all the files on my desktop. And as you can confirm, these files are here. So this is not an antivirus or any way to scan a computer. This just prints like the literal tree of the computer. So I'm failing Sir, to understand. To go the SOP. I'm, I'm failing to understand how you're, use, you're calling yourself technical support and you're using the tree command and then you run it three times and you still haven't figured out why you, you, the tree command wouldn't work properly and I had to explain it to you. So I just, I just want to know why you're scamming people because you think I'm an idiot, which I am not. So, yeah, exactly. You hung up. I had, I had, I, I love my job. I hate a other job. I have only one job.